Mill crashing out once again. Um, he just offered me some free money. Mika says, I want to hire an investigative team, a hundred K cash to find out every specific detail involving Meek Mill name to the Diddy case. I also want some, I also want him to look at who is powering this media involving Meek. Anything to do with Buddy. Something's not right. The streets know what's up with me. That's not the case. We talk about the business inside. Somebody's powering these bad campaigns with Meek Mill. <laughs> Again, I got a hundred K for a thorough investigation of who's powering and how exactly my name is connected to this. Meek, just transferred me to $100,000. I got you, brother. I'm going to show you exactly right here. This is how, I'm going to give you all the proof in like five minutes, so we're going to get back to this Dove case, all right? Here's all the proof right here. This is how he got connected to it. Nobody's funded it. Put it like this. Meek, you couldn't get a $100,000 contract for a record deal right now. Trust me, nobody's wasting $100,000 or more to fund media to make up some shit on you, okay? <laughs> and by the way, here's the thing, too. People just think it's funny. Yo, yo, how has this nigga really been alive for like 40 years, been using th the internet for 20 years, and still don't get it? <laughs> like, still don't get This shit is like ridiculous, bro. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Meek Mill Pool Daddy. This is how, bro. If if you, if these videos didn't exist, man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. My first thought was simple. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. Now, Meek, I know you're not the sharpest knife in the tool set. But if you weren't looking exhausted in the pool, look like you may have, you know what I mean? Look like you, you, you were exhausted after slipping and sliding on baby oil. You look like you just went through a marathon, possible freak off. If you weren't looking like this with the nigga complimenting you, calling you daddy, saying you deserve it, all while you're shirtless and looking so, it, it, you look like just worn out. And you're responding to a nigga calling you daddy. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. I appreciate it. I love you, too. Now, that's one. Now, here's the next thing. If you, if, if, if you didn't realize it was probably a good time to go home and change when you and Diddy had... Matching shirts and matching drawers, and y'all took a picture with a midget in a public event, all while you were leaning in like a proud side chick. We wouldn't have nothing to say. And by the way, again, ain't nobody even think. Well, I don't really think he gay. I just think this is funny as shit. <laughs> I think it's funny as shit. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I'm not gonna play that little audio because I think that audio is fake. I think I don't know. <laughs> you know the audio like, ooh, ooh. yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Now, the other things that just don't make you look that good. When you were shopping. Oh, I think it's still up there. When you were shopping accidentally for vibrating panties, which people would say are freak off supplies. Like, nigga, I ain't gonna lie. It would have been better if you said, I need some baby oil. Can I get that on... Nigga, you said vibrating panties with the remote. Bruv. Now, that wasn't also the worst one. Right? Hold on. There's another one. <laughs> there's another one. Uh, um, Dildo Amazon tweet. Did y'all never see this? Let me, let me see if. This tweet right here. All right, hold on. I can't find that page. Hold on. Oh, shit, hold on. I ain't trying to get banned or nothing. Let me just take it off the screen for a second. <laughs> Bro. <Bruh. laughs> 
If I show a dildo, is that TOS? <laughs> Yo, it's that TOS. Right after he posted that, bruv, bruv, like, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can find this next one. Meek Mill, Meek Mill, how do you unlink your... Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Anyway, uh, I don't know if I... All right, nigga. Fuck. Bruv. Wait, hold on. I just got to make sure. All right, fuck it. I just purchased a 10-inch super long realistic dildo for women, waterproof, ultra silicone, able to take baby oil, lifelike penis wand for woman and man. What the fuck? The nigga had his Amazon linked to his Twitter. How do you unlink your Twitter from your Amazon account? This is urgent. <laughs> Bruv, <laughs> you did this to yourself. I need vibrating panties with the remote. <laughs> Stop it, bro. Just stop it, bro. Just stop it, bro. Just stop it, bro. Bruv, to keep it trill. Bruv, if there wasn't... If there wasn't... Hold on, hold on. I got to show you the four-wheeler joint where the dude is, like, snuggling with him. You ever seen this video right here, bruv? You ever seen this video, bruv? Bruv, bruv, hold on, I, I, I got to show you this video right here. Even Savage was like, I'm going to just get on the front of this bitch. I'm good. Four-wheeler, meat mill. Bruv, this is the only reason why. Like, bruv, look at this shit. Yo, look. Bruv, this look crazy. The nigga got his finger nestled in your in your belly button hole, holding on for dear life while he's cocking back with his back arched. Like, yeah, this is kind of crazy. I'm sorry. Like, bruv, I'm sorry. Like, to keep it real, this is why people think it. Look, the nigga just holding on to, to, to your belly. Wow. Why are you leaning back, putting the ass on him type shit? Feel me? Nigga, that's why. So, Meek, you don't need to spend $100,000. You can just send it to me, brother. Uh, there ain't no conspiracy, nigga. Uh, to keep it real, nobody cares about your sexuality like that. We we joke on you because you're stupid. And when you could have just said, I never been. And by the way, I'm going to keep it real with you. Either Meek is too stupid. Meek, like, somebody's going to clip this and send this to you. You can't be this fucking stupid. I think you're guilty of being in some of these freak offs. I'm not saying you're gay. But you're clearly, because... You know what you've not said? There's been too many rumors for you to say, I've never been in a sexual counter. We're not talking about homosexual. Like, it looked like, I think all y'all niggas used to run trains with Diddy, like on girls. But y'all clearly have been in sexual situations because there's no way that there's so many allegations and you can't come out and say, I've never fucked a bitch with him. I've never fucked him. And he ain't never fucked me. Three sentences and it's over. Well, not really, but... <laughs> That's the start. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, okay. Anyway, that was a quick break. Back to the doll situation. We're gonna get this thing off of, off of the stand in a second, and then we're gonna go. Um, oh, oh, they, oh, they said, oh, the Luther Vandross freestyle Meek Mill with him and Diddy. Y'all talking about this one? Listen, man, just take Meek's phone, bro. <laughs> niggas say I got 100,000 for who's. Yo, why niggas be thinking there's like a whole campaign? Bro, like people like people like making you the butt of the joke. There's no campaign, though. If, if Meek had an op, like like a, a powerful op, I'd be like, okay, maybe. But at this point, like, bro, Meek dropped a song and nobody cared. You know what I mean? Like, yo, even, even Elon Musk tweeted the song out. This shit didn't do a motherfucking thing. You get what I'm saying? And by the way, I think Meek is trolling. He's half trolling. Look, 
As soon as he says some gay shit or some shit about some gay stuff, remember I told you, right? He, he he's using all this for promo. He's not signed to a label. He tweets this and then immediately tweets the song. You're not you're, you're not low, Meek. Like we, we kind of get your whole thing by now. Um, it, the reality of of it is that people just don't give a fuck about Meek Mill's music anymore. Like to keep it real, here's the thing. And Meek, if you got a hundred thousand, don't put it there. Put it into promo. Like seriously, I'm not I'm not trolling you. This is the problem why a stupid nigga like you can't go independent. Because at, you see all the millions you used to do? Atlantic Records used to make you do it. In in, in, in 19 hours, you have 167,000 views. I'm going to give you an extra view. Let's oh, watch man, it for a little bit. Actually, well, I don't want to get flagged. But yeah, that's why he's tweeting out some shit. He's trying to drum up attention. Here's the problem that Meek don't get. When you still skate around this Diddy stuff, it don't make us want to watch your music. Actually turns people off from your music. You might as well just straight up just address it or just don't talk about it and just only promote your music because nobody's going to be like, oh, Meek is tweeting about gay stuff. Let's go see what he's saying and be like, oh, never mind. Let's forget the gay stuff. Let's go listen to his music. Nobody's going to do that, right? So so just pay for promo. You have $100,000? Meek, do what your label would have done. Go pay them blogs. You don't got to pay me. Send it to, to all the other blogs you know, spread the love and let them get the bread off of pimping you. That's how it works. You get what I'm saying? It's called digital marketing. Look, he dropped a song called Cybertruck. The shit set, it's almost four days. It said three days here, but uh, shit set, you don't even have half a million views, man. Like, yo, bro, like, this is like a vlog. You know what I mean? Like, come on, come on. Like, people ain't checking for him like that. So really, I think he's baiting us with the gay stuff because people ain't listening to his music. Uh, I I'm just trying to tell him that doesn't work. Trying to play around the rumors that's super viral don't make people listen to that and say, oh, okay, all right, all right. Well, Meek said in the trenches, no. Let's go listen to the music. Nobody says that. So I give it invaluable advice, but he don't give a fuck. Anyway, back to the dog.